Hey folks, Technivers here. Welcome to the channel. Today we will be taking a look at the recently dropped Kira 4.9 and this is the beta version. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this right now. Before we do, if it's your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when there is a new video. As you probably know, Kira is a slicing application used to convert 3D models into machine code that is readable by 3D printers. So if you'd like to know more about Kira or this is your first time seeing it, be sure to stay until the end of the video where I'll have a link to my Kira settings in 5 minutes or less playlist and a video on Kira for beginners. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get to the beta. So as I said, this is version 4.9. Now they have changed it so that the line type is the default color scheme when using the preview mode. And there is a couple other things in here visually that I want to point out that I think are going to be a big addition to this version of Kira. So let's go ahead and get myself switched around here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. You'll notice one of the big additions to the preview mode is this little white dash mark you'll see on a lot of these the pillars here as well as on this inside corner. Now that is actually your seam. It is now noted in the preview mode so you can see if it is hidden inside the model as you can see this is a Raspberry Pi case a really small one and for the most part it does a great job of hiding this seam you can see I did end up with a seam on the outside of this corner since it's on a sharp corner I don't really mind but having that visualization is a really really nice additional tool to have and it is a, a welcome addition to Kira so let's go in and see what else is new so if I go to what's new in the help section they've changed this not only is uh, this gonna go over what's new it does tell me uh, what's new as it used to but they put in this handy slideshow feature where it shows you a picture a graphic representation with a little bit of an explanation so as I said line type is now the default color scheme meaning that when you slice and go to preview you're automatically gonna go to this and they say it improves your user experience and you don't have to switch to line type each time you enter preview mode apparently this is the most used mode I wasn't I don't know what mode it was going into before because I feel like it's all I've always had this as my default preview mode but uh, obviously not a better re visual representation this is specifically talking about the Z seam and as I said that's that white line that we note back here um, that is going to be basically on all of the uh, vertical features of our model in some place and best practices is to hide those inside holes or inside corners where you can't see them and before you couldn't exactly tell unless you wound back to the beginning of the layer where that was so uh, and then they're saying there's a lot more so uh, there is a bunch of stuff in their full blog post here we can go ahead and jump over and take a look at that basically it covers most of the stuff that we are going over already but then there's some bug fixes and these I wanted to go over because uh, they had had a security patch on Windows um, which was allowing it to launch other programs which is kind of a big deal you really don't want that that's not ideal at all um, and then they fixed some problems with it not slicing and some connect top and bottom polygon settings so now that the beta is released we are looking at about usually it's about two weeks before the full version is ready to come out uh, I've seen it take up to a month before usually if it takes a little more time that's because they're working on something and that's okay we don't want them to rush it because that's how you end up with more bugs but you will see another version of this video with the full release version and any new updates that might be coming and basically if you'd like to download this let's see if I can get to the right download site okay so um, the site is right here I'm gonna copy this right now I will paste it down below in the description you can click that and that's basically the gist of this new version of Kira you can see uh, it also shows me the release notes and there are some other things that it didn't really show us in that slideshow such as uh, the weight estimation and decimals it's now giving us a uh, more exact estimation of how much filament we're using uh, there are some other post post processing script to embed screenshot um, other stuff so the embed the screenshot in the G code is for uh, for graphic screen printers where you can see the model instead of just the file name that's kinda nice as well and then a whole slew of other bug fixes and I believe they said something like 18 new printer editions so there's a bunch of stuff in here uh, Mingda D2 that's one that we've gone over on the channel and uh, looks like a few others so tons of stuff 
definitely, definitely check it out. They love feedback, so if you have any issues, definitely drop them a line. Let them know what's up before the full release so they can get everything dialed in. And I'm really, really looking forward to this release of Kira. If you haven't already, definitely check out my Kira Arachne videos. That's going to be the new engine going forward. So uh, from what I hear, 4.9 should be the last official version of this branch. And then it should incorporate Arachne in 5.0 carrying forward. So I'm going to be seeing some big changes in Kira after this. This version here is probably one that you're going to want to hang on to for a while because it will be the last stable version with this stable engine. And the Arachne engine does still have some things to be worked out. So definitely grab this one when it comes out in the full version. But definitely save one of your older versions of Kira as well just to be on the safe side. You don't want to lose your settings or any of that business. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. So I'm going to put up that link now up here in the top right corner you should be able to see a little guy popping up and that link is to a video in my five minutes or less playlist that's going to go over Kira for new users if you're not a new user and you'd like to jump straight to the playlist we'll put another card up right here and this one's going to take you to the playlist uh, the playlist does start with that video but you can go ahead and just hit skip to the next one or you can select any of the videos in the playlist that you want from the drop down panel so Thanks for stopping by, guys. As always, hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it for my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.